I can imagine no more rewarding a career. And any man who may be asked in this century what he did to make his life worthwhile, I think, can respond with a good deal of pride and satisfaction. I served in the United States Navy. Hey everyone, retired Navy Rob here. Welcome back to my channel. Now I just want to go over a couple things with y'all today. Uh, first thing I have to show is a Confederate war bond coupon. Now what would happen is you would invest whatever amount. This, money, this one here was for $1,000. And this will come with a certificate with 60 of these attached to it. Every six months, you would cut one off and take it in and redeem it for your $30. In theory, that's how it would have worked. Now, I'm going to show you all a picture of the bond. And then I'll also show you a picture of... Uh, this individual who signed this, R.O. Tyler. Uh, Mr. Tyler was the Register of the Treasury for the Confederate States of America. And he was also the eldest son of the 10th President of the United States, John Tyler. The reason why I bring him up is, now you can see the oxid oxidation of the uh, serial number, but the signature is black. The signature was actually printed onto the bond coupon. The serial number was hand put on there. So that's why the serial number is black and not going to that brownish color that you see in the uh, serial number. Okay, and the second thing that I would like to share with you all is this beauty right here. She's 1840. Uh, State of New York, North River Banking Company. Uh, it's a $1.00. And it's 12 months after the uh, purchase of the bond in 1840. So I can't really read that. I think that is maybe January 20th, 1840. But I love the detail on these old notes. Sorry about all the shaking. And you can see the ink oxidized through to the back because they use the iron based ink. I think she's a pretty good for a circulated bill from 1840. Sending this right off to be graded. And I will share the results when I get that back. Now you all have a great day and keep on stacking.